What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I want to take a few minutes and sort of walk you through the planning process that I went through as I was trying to figure out what I wanted to include in my own home hockey training center. So I'm going to show you some of the considerations that I thought were important. Now some of these may or may not apply to you in your own situation, but like I said, it's going to be one of those things where you can pick and choose what makes the most sense for you and um, at the end of the day at least you see some of the things that uh, I thought were important considerations as you're designing your own home hockey training center. So first and foremost for me is um, you're going to want to think about the ages of the players that you're designing your home hockey training center for. This will determine which training aids are going to be most effective to include in your own home hockey training center. So for me in my house we've got two young boys both under the age of five um, so obviously they're at the very beginning end of beginner um, but they're not the only ones that are going to be using this. I'm actually going to want to use it as well. Um, all this stuff to me obviously is a lot of fun, so I'm going to want to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a more advanced dad, kind of looking to maintain skill levels uh, for the occasional men's league game, drop-in tournaments, and stuff like that. So for us, we're going to have a wide range of players that are going to be able to use this stuff. So not only does the, the equipment have to be able to be catered to a five-year-old, but at the same time, um, it's got to be strong enough and durable enough to hold up to some more intense usage from somebody who's a little bit more advanced. So that's the age, uh, the question of age. Next is ability, kind of goes hand in hand with age. For us, we've got beginner to highly advanced, and um, that's where we're going to be, you know, picking and choosing training aids that make the most sense for that. Next is a huge one for me, <clears throat> and that's space. For me, I have a small house uh, with a, a relatively small yard. Not only is it a small house and small yard, but the house, our house is actually really close to our neighbor's house. So there's definitely some considerations in that for me. Um, space must be kept open for multiple uses. So for me, I can't just designate a, an area of the basement and have that be my hockey area and you know nobody else can use it. I need to be able to have a little bit of a degree of portability with some of the equipment, so be able to set it up and take it down with relative ease. And that's going to definitely play a role in some of the stuff that I pick for, um, you know, for what I include in my home hockey training center. Uh, the house close to the neighbors, obviously, that kind of goes uh, goes without saying. We want to make make sure that we're not hitting the neighbor's house with pucks. That's especially with the shooting stuff. So I'm going to definitely have a net that's got a backstop setup that um, we can, you know, really make sure that we're not knocking pucks off the neighbors off the neighbor's siding there. Um, so those are my important considerations for space. Like I said, this may or may not apply to everybody, but for me it definitely is the case. Next, objectives. So this is where you're going to sit down and you're going to say, okay, what am I really looking to improve on? Am I looking to improve on a lot of different things or mostly one specific area of my play? For me, and we kind of talked about this in the other video, but there are two general categories that um, you can you can kind of pick for a very realistic ability to improve on skills at your house. So there's technical skills and there's physical performance. So like I said, some of these are, are some skills that you think about. You kind of need to be at the rink to do them, but there are some that are very realistically, um, you, you can very realistically work on and improve on at your house. For technical skills, I'd say these are stick handling, shooting, passing, and some skating. This would be leg strength and some technique. And um, with those, you know, you can definitely make improvements on those in the off season in your house. And then the physical performance side of things, <clears throat> explosiveness, agility, some strength. So those are the main objectives that I think are reasonable objectives that you can pick from. Now you may pick all of these and say, hey, I want to set up a, a true training program that can really work on all of these. Or uh, you might say, you know what, my biggest thing this summer is I need to improve on my shot. And so maybe you focus all your energy on that. But that's, the, uh, that's kind of the mentality that I think is really important as you're considering what training aids you're going to be putting in your home hockey training center. Next, uh, last but definitely not least, is budget. Now for me, um, <clears throat> I've got a somewhat of a limited budget, but the thing about me is I'm willing to spend money when the value is there. So if there's a, a training aid that I can just really see that that will help me improve my game, I'm okay with spending a little bit of money on that. The thing that I'm not interested in is I'm not interested in gimmicky items or experimental items. For me, I just want to use what works. And uh, it's not to say that I'm not open to trying new products, but um, you know, for me, I just I don't want to spend money on trying things out. I want to spend money on things that work. So hopefully, for for that last uh, bullet point there, hopefully this home hockey training course that I'm putting together will help you to determine you know which of those items are worth picking up. But that is the those are some of the main considerations that I think are important as you're thinking about what you're going to include in your own home hockey training center. 